This is our Uganda, where almost half its population is under 15. We have an immense youthful human resource at our disposal. This country of over 44 million people is developing and its youth will be the driving force for its economic and social transformation. At the heart of unlocking Uganda's economic potential is the development of agriculture from a subsistence model to a commercial model with different opportunities for its people down the value chain. There's a great need to plant the seeds that will address the question of food security, job creation for youth, and improve the lives of the man on the ground, Omuntuwa Wansi. Heifer International Uganda has embarked on this remarkable journey to address this problem by turning to the youth to innovate and unlock Uganda's agri-tech potential. Through our strategic partnerships with MasterCard Foundation, Nation Media Group, Equity Bank, Famunera and RSM East Africa, we embarked on a national quest to find Uganda's best agri-tech innovators that will impact the lives of smallholder farmers. The Ayute Africa Challenge Uganda Edition is part of an ambitious continental drive to challenge the youth to combine their ingenuity with the many possibilities of emerging technologies that can support smallholder farmers to grow their business and incomes. We launched our campaign on the 16th of June 2022 with a nationwide multimedia campaign calling on all the youth of Uganda to submit their agritech innovations in a two-minute pitch video for a chance to win a share of the 100 million, a first in Uganda. As a challenge, it's meant to encourage young agritech innovations to scale their ambitions and their ability to deliver meaningful impact for farmers. What started with local news coverage poured on social media with multiple outlets picking up the story and requests for radio interviews coming in. We also had friends on social media who joined in the rallying cry for the youth to take on the challenge. Sandra aka Slay Farmer and retired Assistant Inspector General Asan Kasinje joined the chorus to raise attention to this great cause. The response was enormous. We received 250 submissions by the closing deadline and more still kept coming in. We went through a rigorous process for getting the top 20 contestants who joined us at the National Crops Resources Research Institute Namlonge for our pitching session. It was time to take action on the road and on the TV show our 20 national finalists began by pitching their innovative work for a chance to make it to the top 10. Emotions ran high and contestants gave it a spirited fight and our judges were impressed but had to make the tough choice. We took the show on the road and traveled across the country with our top 10 finalists to put their innovations to the test. Amazingly, revelations showed the true African spirit of ingenuity and persistence. We saw the connections our finalists had with the land, the people and it was amazing to see this in motion. Tonight we are down to the top six finalists. Our search for Uganda's brightest agritech innovators takes us on a remarkable journey across the country to see how their ideas are applied to their community, their support systems and setups. The top five will take home a share of the 100 million at the grand finale of the Ayute Africa Challenge Uganda today. This is about empowering our youth through agriculture and technology to inspire them to cultivate careers that will create jobs, increase productivity and change the lives of small-scale farmers across the country. Welcome 